Cancer, this reading is yours. My soul tribe, how are you, moon babies? This full moon in Taurus is liberating and pacifying for you. It's going to give you a much needed breather from any kind of stress or emotional tumultuousness that you've been stuck in the middle of. It's almost going to just make you maybe not, not, not apathetic, but calm, peaceful, and sure. The Taurus energy has a wonderful effect on Cancerians. It gives us a stability and a conscientiousness about ourselves, as well as um, a constitution, a, a firmness and strength in our constitution that we don't normally feel because we're changing moon phases all the time. And a lot of those signs, you know, are, are not, whether, you know, the sign could, whatever, the sign could be, you know, compatible with us or not compatible. It could be in detriment. The bottom line is it's always changing and it's changing so much. But with a full moon in Taurus, it's really illuminating, almost like, almost like making this time that it's spending in Taurus feel like longer than it is because it's expanding and holding us up almost with a buoyancy so that we don't have to keep treading water or feeling like we're we're constantly overworking just to just to stay where we are. There's a buoyancy with this full moon in Taurus with us that gives us a little bit of a lift and a break and it's making us feel happy. Like finally something is assisting us, you know, because the moon is exalted when it's in Taurus and we are moon babies. And so our exaltation is finally feeling like we're not carrying everything. We don't have to make all the decisions we don't have to constantly make all the concessions or compromises. We don't feel that way. Because I'm not even saying we always have to, but we do always feel that way. And this buoyancy, this lift is helping us. It's like a little, a little lift for us. Something is finally supporting us and it feels beautiful. So Cancerians, enjoy these next three days of just feeling like something is supporting you because in truth it is this Taurus full moon is beautiful for you also we have this 11 11 portal and I have said this to you time and time again Cancerians you can manifest in your dreams you can manifest without even speaking out loud a tr you can with your just your thoughts you can manifest things I've noticed that in my life things that I've thought or things that I've wished for or dreamed of like daydreamed of a year later it's happening to somebody else but it never comes back to happen to me because there's always this giving it away to everybody else so during this portal, please be very, very careful of your thoughts and your words because you will manifest in your sleep. And so this is a, is a huge period of manifestation. And that's why I'm saying it's amplified for you. So be very, very conscientious of the way that you use your mind and especially the words that you speak. Speak into existence exactly what you want and exactly where you want to go, Cancerian, because it will happen and you will get what you want. But be please be very, very particular and sure that what you are saying is exactly what you want. Because especially if we're feeling... But I will have to say this. I think this is a good time for us. I was going to say, especially when we're feeling defensive or moody, but over these next three days, I love that the 1111 portal, let's put it this way. I love that the 1111 portal happened over a Taurus full moon. For us, that's our exalted point. So we are so going to get anything we manifest over the next three days, but also it's going to be easier for us to control our words. We're feeling better. We're feeling more secure. We, throughout this portal, have been given the blessing of being in our most stable position ever. We are actually more stable in Taurus than we are when the moon is in Cancer. <laughs> Taurus just gives us this beautiful energy of certainty. And so with this, this portal that's paying attention to everybody's manifestations, it's less likely that we will fly off the handle or be moody or not be able to handle disappointments and say things that might manifest something we don't like down the line. This, this is a stabilizing energy so that we can really focus our minds and our hearts and put our words into the direction of where we really want to go. So Cancerians, 
If you are new to Born Without Boundaries, welcome to my channel. Please click subscribe below and help the channel grow. Also click that bell, ring it a couple of times so that you know when I go live and you get notifications when I upload all this wonderful content. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. It is general energies on YouTube. I do a full oracle card spread and then I also include an extended link below with a full um, tarot card spread and romance reading. This is for the energies Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising or whatever can say, wherever Cancerian affects your natal chart. These are the energies that can be applied to that segment. Okay, um, if you know how to use your natal chart that way, but definitely sun, moon, rising, um, Venus, uh, maybe even, maybe, yeah, any prominent placements, but sun, moon, rising. Um, uh, also, what was I going to say? <sighs> Just take your time, Michelle Ann. If you are on platforms that allow for commercial breaks, there's going to be one coming up in a couple of seconds, Cancerians. Thank you, because that as actually those commercials sponsor the channel. So you don't have you don't have to pay a darn thing. This is a donation that you make to the channel just by having patience through a commercial break. So thank you ahead of time, and I'll see you in a couple of sen seconds. <laughs> I almost said see you in a couple of sentences. Let's get right into this reading, Cancerian. I hope my channeled message meant a little bit and a lot to you. I'll also be doing a Cancerian of understanding yourself as a Cancerian and understanding Cancerian energies better. I'll I'll be doing that for you. I'll be doing that video for you on Thursday that will be coming out. FYI, there's a lot of energy that's really popping off. So spirit has a plan. You are spirit. You're the one with the plan. What did I tell you? This is not about, in other words, it's not that spirit isn't in your life, Cancerians. It's that spirit is saying, what do you want me to do? You, you are the masters here. You control where you're going to go. And so you have me here, tell me where I want to go. So if you haven't, you've been feeling like you've lost direction or you don't know which way to go, or you're not getting any support from anybody, it's because you're out there, you're in front and you are leading everybody, including spirit. And it is very confusing to be a manifester. It is very confusing to be a leader. It is very confusing to be that person. It's almost like you think that you're alone because the fog keeps hitting you in the face. You think that you're lost. You're not lost, you're just out there in front. And this is you, Cancerian, blazing those trails and creating the life of your dreams, hopefully, because you could also be creating the life of your hell, of, of a life that you're stuck in. What I want you to know is that spirit is taking your lead. They're following your lead, Cancerian. This is how powerful you are as a creator, and they're asking you, what is it you want? And it may sound, not sound like to you, like, no, it's not. Things never go my way. They go exactly the way that you're manifesting in. And once you become aware of that strength and power, Cancerian, and that reality, you will start very quickly changing a lot of your behaviors so that behaviors as in the way that you speak, especially the way that you speak about yourself. Um, um, the, the chances you give, the harsh criticisms that you give to yourself, the constant self-sacrifices that you make to feed everybody else's life when you end up starving, all of those things, you'll see you will keep ending up starving. Why? Because spirit's listening to you and saying, oh, Cancerian doesn't want to eat. Every time I give Cancerian food, Cancerian gives it away to somebody else. That message is Cancerian doesn't want to eat. So I will stop sending Cancerian food or I will automatically send the gifts out to everybody else that Cancerian is around because Cancerian is just going to give away those gifts anyway. If you start taking that food, I love this spirit. Thank you so much for this meal. It's delicious. Spirit is going to say, Cancerian likes the food. Cancerian wants the food. I'm going to send Cancerian more of this food because it's making them happy. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, about our, our behavior. I'm not trying to shake a finger at you. I am you. Okay? I am talking to me. Right? We have to be very, very careful with what we say we want versus where we put our energy. If we say that we want freedom and then we go out and get ourselves immediately into, jump from one relationship into another, 
did we, did we want freedom? I'm just going to ask you, ask you honestly. You're saying, spirit, I want freedom. I want freedom. I want the ability to go with where I want, go and do what I want. But I went from one relationship right into another. The spirit says, you don't want freedom. You want to be with somebody. You want to be obligated to somebody. You want to be putting all your energy into making somebody else feel good. You want to be putting all your money into making somebody else feel good. Okay, uh, spirit's then going to take your lead and make that other person's life better while your life gets diminished. Why? Because spirit says this is what Cancerian wants. This is the trick of manifestation that a lot of people don't understand. You would think that I'm being good to other people. Why won't spirit be good to me too? That's not how spirit works. Uh, spirit is taking your lead. I'm not saying be bad to other people. I'm just saying, oh, if you want investments in you, then you have to make the investments in you first. Oh, I want my freedom, so I'm not going to go out and get in a new relationship. I'm not going to keep thinking and mourning about my old, old relationship stuck in the past, in where I was in the past. This could also be the energy of being stuck in the past. Stuck in the mindset of holding on to something that you're supposed to drop away from, but you're just clinging to it. And you're wondering, well, why is nothing new coming to me? You haven't released the old. How, where, where, would, where would something new? You keep telling spirit, but I want my old relationship, but I want my old job, but I want that old thing. I want that old thing. I want that old thing. Where, then spirit is going to say, okay, I'm going to keep letting you run into your ex. I'm going to maybe even send you a wedding invitation to their wedding with their new person. I, you know, I'm, I, what, what, I'm going to keep, keep letting, letting you be reminded of your old career. I'm going to keep you unemployed because that's the job, old job that you want to be in. Spirit can't change things on another person's perspective. They can't say, I'm going to make that person want you. I'm going to make your job rehire you. All they're going to do is keep sending you back reminders because you want to be in a rememory land, rememory land, right? You want to keep remembering and you're going to wonder, why am I miserable? Why am I hurting? Why is spirit not sending me the way out? Have you been looking for the way out? Have you been looking for that new job? And if you are, then you need to have no doubt. No doubt that you deserve it and you're getting it. It's coming to you exactly the way that you want. Exactly the way that you want, Cancerians. I cannot say enough exactly the way that you want. And it may cost you. It may cost you a comfort, a creature comfort. You may have to take a risk. We don't like taking risk. We don't like being vulnerable. But vulnerability is what? It's openness. And only when the cup is open can something flow into it. And if finally, finally, finally we want somebody to fill us up instead of constantly filling somebody else's cup, we are going to have to let ourselves be open. All in one card. But there are other cards that have come out. So let's see. Once again, claim your independence and freedom is yours. I think that you've broken out of your own sense of obligation to other people. I think that you finally realized, and listen to this one very carefully, the Cancerian, you may have to break a few rules. You may have to break a few few rules. Getting what you want is risk is worth the risk of not playing by the rules, not playing fair, and not making sure that everybody else's comfort is sustained. You have finally, finally, and that would to, to you is almost like well, I would never do anything like that. Why would I do anything like that? Because that's the way forward. Because that's how you put you first, not other people's comfort or what other people say is correct. Oh, I don't want to get anybody else upset, so I'm not going to break those rules. I'm not going to put those, push those boundaries. I won't push those boundaries. I won't push them because I don't want to make anybody else feel uncomfortable. This is you breaking free of that mindset and you claiming your independence, even if it means you have to walk straight across somebody else's yard. The grass will grow back. The grass will grow back. Okay. Okay. If your gate broke, you can fix it. I'm gone. I've got to get through here. You know, if your yard is in my way, I'm just going to plow through it. The grass will grow, grow back. And I know that sounds like a horrible thing and a horrible person to be. It's not because the grass will grow back. And what you perceive as hurting people is really not hurting them at all. It's just maybe causing them a little bit of discomfort. But how, how often do you get caused discomfort? 
And I'm not saying they love you. I want to share my puppy with you. She's so cute. Um, I'm not saying to you, do something intentionally malicious to hurt somebody. But I am saying to you that when you arrive for that job interview, put your name on the list first. Don't sit there in line and say, oh, no, you can go ahead of me. No, they can't. No, they can't. You got there first. You put your name on the line where you belong, which is first. Don't sit there and say, oh, somebody's running up behind you. Oh, I really need to get out of this interview fast. I'm so sorry, but you know, my babysitter is waiting and can I go in front of you? No. If you wanted to go in front of me, you could have arrived five minutes before me. Thank you. And you put your name on that list first. Because what would be, have been your first impulse, Cancerian? Oh, of course. Not only would you have said, of course you can go ahead of me, but do you need me to watch your child for a little while? You know what I'm saying? Like, I can just hear you now. I can just hear you now because I know how I would feel in that situation. Like, I was being mean and I was being selfish if I didn't let this person run in. How do you even know they even have a child? They could be lying to you. They could be manip manipulating you. Maybe they're not. But the bottom line is you leave yourself wide open when you decide to put other people's needs before your own. You want that job, right? You arrive there on time. That person arrived late. Why? Even if they have a great sounding excuse, should you put yourself a step back so they could go forward? You don't even know them. You're never going to see them again. Peace out. If you wanted to come and get here early, you should have gotten here five minutes before me. Me first. Right here. Here we have overcome any obstacle. This is us feeling stuck. There is always enough. This is us feeling drained. Watch and wait. This is us being impatient. Now is a lucky time. This is us being unfortunate. Time to heal. This is us carrying all the old burdens. Do you see? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn this around so that you can see the spread because it's very important. I want to go through this and show you the vibe I'm getting with these cards. Hold on. You see this? All these cards weighing you down. Your old sense of what is true and what is real. This... Bam, is what you have to claim your independence from. This week, especially through this portal, the beautiful, wonderful gift that you're receiving from this Taurus full moon is that you are done with all of this BS. That all of this burden, all of this not knowing which way to go, all of this emptying yourself for somebody else. What did I say when I, when I channeled that energy at the beginning of the reading? I said, this time around, Taurus is this beautiful Taurus energy through this portal of manifestation is holding you up. You're, you're uplifted. Somebody is supporting you so that Cancerian, all of this burden is gone. And now you can focus. You're free. You're free from that mindset. And that's why I'm saying you're going to feel a beautiful freedom over the next three days, especially, but throughout this whole week. With this beautiful energy that casting from this beautiful moon, you're getting rid of all of this. In fact, tonight, when you write down those things that you want to burn and send out into the universe, say, feeling alone, feeling, feeling trapped, feeling stuck, um, feeling like I have no resources, feeling impatient or that nobody is seeing me. Um, constantly holding on to old hurts, uh, feeling unfortunate, feeling stuck, feeling held back. All of those things you cast away, you burn them and you never, ever, ever look at them again. This is your moment to cast away all the things that are holding you down and anchoring you underneath that water and making you drown. Cancerian, you're a little crab. You need to go on land sometime. Sometimes you need to be on land. Sometimes you need to be in the water. You need to be right where you can have both. And you don't need to explain yourself to anybody. Freedom. Freedom. Oh, freedom is, oh, freedom. Freedom is coming. Oh, yes, I know. Oh, yes, I know. Freedom is coming. Oh, yes, I know. And it's here. It's arrived. 
Let's see what, what the future holds. Let's see. Learn from the past. Hit you like a brick, right? Learn from the past, Cancerian. Has all of this mindset worked for you in the past? Has putting other people as priority helped you ever? Where are you right now? Are you living the life of your dreams? If so, I guarantee it's because you're a Cancerian who learns to put themselves first. Here we are. Here we are. Be generous of spirit and make your dreams real. This is you. This is the Leo energy. Finding yourself, finding your sense of self, your pride in yourself, your self-respect, and, and being comfortable being king or queen. This is you sitting back up on your throne and making the world in your image, in what you want. If all you see in front of you is fog, that that's your camp, that that's your canvas, and you make the decisions. See that the, the tricky thing is the Cancerians, you're the North Node. But we're still Cancerians, so we still are trying to give away everything else to everybody else. We're the leaders now. We need to take this time to remind everybody that that's us. That that's us. That's, we're in the leader seat. How do we do that? Manifest what we want. Don't, don't wait for even one second. You just have to manifest exactly what you want and when you want it. You must manifest it. Go to it. This is you. This is the Spellcaster card. Weaving your weaves. Dreaming your dreams. This is also grandmother energy. If you had a grandmother who had passed, this is them and their support reminding you of who you are. Maybe this grandparent had believed in you a great deal and had always tried to do things to set you up for a good position and now they're gone. This is spirit message reminding you that that energy and that faith in you cannot be wasted. It cannot be undermined by your own lack of sense of self. This is your time. 100% Cancerian, 100%. This is your time to get rid of all of these burdens and to unleash your lion, your internal lion, which is your sense of self. This is what I see. I don't see anybody standing in your way. I see you standing in your way. You are the most powerful force on earth. And there's no way to get around yourself. You have to get yourself on your side and turn it into the direction that you want to go. Let's go and see more obstacles, more strengths, more ways forward, more advice for how to move forward, especially how to manifest what is coming in. That's really what I want to ask Tara. If we make these right decisions, what exactly is coming toward us? I'll see you guys over on Vimeo for the full tarot spread as well as the romance reading. The link is below.